This time of year brings about a sense of peace within our home. The cold days call for more rest than work. Somehow the priority is baking and Christmas preparation over my standard to-do list. It helps that school is out, giving us more time for leisure. Winter is a time of rest and reflection, not just for planning goals or setting resolutions. Reflecting is more about noticing where we stand currently, taking stock of where the year has ended, and giving gratitude to the things about our lives that have come to us through prayer and purpose. It is a gift to ourselves to work in the quiet and to ponder on such things, allowing the pressures of life to keep at bay, even just for a few moments. These intentional small acts are forms of self-care, a term we often hear associated with spa days or lavish purchases. Yet real self-care is for the body, mind, and spirit. It is for our overall well-being so that we might endure the enormous task of everyday living. As women, we have a hard time shutting off from work mode because the work of a mother or homemaker does not have set hours. Work can bleed into the night and for many can start at the crack of dawn. Making time for things we enjoy doing is as important as the work we are taking a break from while we do them. During these last parts of December, self-care looks like baking days and making homemade ornaments with my daughter, for me anyway. We have enjoyed days of baking and Christmas crafts this year, time I feel that has been well spent. These salt dough ornaments are simple to make and fun to paint. Made from four cups of flour, one cup of salt, and a cup and a half of warm water. The dough is easy to roll out and shape. These will bake for an hour at 300 degrees. While the ornaments bake, we decided to take a drive to the library. I was able to pick up several classic books to read together, for days of rest, wrapped in a blanket with a book while the weather does its worst outside. These are the very last of the cookie boxes I am making for Christmas. My homemade vanilla extract is ready to gift as well. I like to tie Christmas twine around each one for a simple Christmas touch.
Now that the ornaments have cooled, it's time to paint them. With a pot of tea heating on the stove, I'm taking a few minutes to water my plants. Today I'm also taking time for myself to do some reading. I finally got my hands on Miss Sally Clarkson's book, The Life-Giving Home. So far, it is more than I had even anticipated. Allowing myself the luxury of sitting with a book for the rest of the afternoon is one of my favorite self-care acts to do during these winter months. Every week I do an at-home beauty night that usually starts with a mask and a glass of wine or another cup of hot tea. I like to use a sugar scrub for my hands and feet and then finally add a natural hair mask to leave on overnight. I will link the recipes for each in the description box below. During these nights, I also like to take the time to paint my nails. I have been using this natural lavender all over body butter. It leaves my skin feeling soft and silky. Taking the time to care for ourselves is essential to our lives. Doing so shouldn't feel wrong or give you feelings of guilt. We have all heard the saying that we cannot pour from an empty cup. So as these cold winter days begin, I hope you find ways to care for yourself allow for rest, to do the things you love, and even include a beauty night here and there. For now, it's time to get back to a wonderful book. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed your time here. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, as this is the last video before the big day. I will see you all on the next one.